Oh. Hello everyone and welcome to this video, um, second video like in like the same day today, which is a bit like unlike me, like where like I'm like wanting like to film like as many videos like as possible like before like I start like university, like I've had like a day off like work today, so like I thought that I would like try and film like a few videos. So yeah, um today I'm going to be um reviewing this album by um, Paul Weller. It's his um debut solo album from 1992, um which in a couple of weeks time on the 1st of September will be celebrating its um, 25th anniversary. So what I'll do in this video is just my usual thing, like give like a bit of background information uh, uh, about the album, then I will show you my vinyl copy of it and then go over each of the album songs in detail. So yes, as I said, um, this was um, Paul Weller's um, first um, solo record. Um, like his previous band was the Style Council, and they disbanded in 1989. Like after like their final album, Modernism: A New Decade, like was rejected like by like the record company, and like thusly like were like dropped like from like the Polydor label. And um, like so like Weller spent like the next like year like basically like like basically like as like a house husband like looking after like his young children like not writing like or like recording like or playing like any music like just like devoting like his time like to like his like family how however like in like 1991 like he like decided like to return like to the live stage like touring like as the Paul Weller movement like this was kind of like just um like this was kind of like just like because like he didn't like feel confident like enough yet like to go out like as like an actual like solo like artist like he still wanted like a bad name so like it was called like the Paul Weller movement like these um, like they began like playing um, like some like very very like small small venues and um, like sometimes like um, like sometimes like even like were less people like attending that were members like in um, that were members like in the band and um, like like this was all about like building like momentum like building like up like his fan base again like from like the ground up like after like the style council's like slow and steady decline slowly like they started like to pick up like momentum like well as like confidence like was growing and they released a single into tomorrow and um, like in like october 1991 like this was like a minor chart hit like i think reached number 36 and um, like this was released like on like paul weller's like own and um, freedom high records label and um, like whoever like the success and like also like the quality like of that first single like led to him like getting a record deal with um like with the label and um, go discs so the album um, itself um, like was actually released like in like Japan like a whole um, six months before the rest of the world and um, like also like with like a slightly altered track listing like which like, we will get to like a little bit later on like apparently like this was like a like reward like for like the Japanese fans like for like sticking like with Weller like throughout like the Style Council's like final like years like still like making um like still making like some of like their final albums and um, like relevant Relative, like hit albums like whereas like in like the UK and um, like Weller was kind of like out of favor like so like Japan like got like the album like before like, everybody else so when the album was eventually released in the UK like in September 1992 like it reached like a relatively like good like chart position like off like number eight like whether like when I like, compared like to that like, Weller's subsequent records that like, were like I think like every single album like from Wildwood through to um, Saturn's Path like for 2015 like would either reach number one or two like on like the UK charts like this one like number eight like again like he was just like building like his fan base like up like more and more and um, like critically like it was seen like as like a like general like return to form like whoever like Weller like wouldn't become like the mod father like and um, like the legend like which he is like today and um, like until the albums Wildwood and Stanley Road. So I would have to show you my vinyl copy of it here. This is a original, um, I think UK pressing of the album, and um, it has been recently reissued. Um, like so, like you can get it like for like a lot more like reasonable price. Like quite like interesting like design to this. It actually, um, like opens up like this here. So like you get like, this like awesome picture off in there. Like it just looks like so cool in it. Like fantastic photo. And um, like in a gatefold here, um, looks like this here. 
just like nice like collage like of like pictures there plus you get a booklet which is really really nice so you get um all of like the lyrics to the songs in there which is really cool pictures and stuff um, and then like at the back like more like lyrics like for the songs like on the side too so yeah like fantastic packaging to this album here um there's another nice picture um record um, sleeve is just a plain white sleeve and like the labels themselves like look like this here so there's one side and there's the other side Okay, so I'm now going to go over each of the album songs. There's 12 tracks in total. So basically, like I will give a score like out of 10 to each track. And then those scores will be used to give us a overall percentage marking for the album. Okay, so it kicks off with the song Uh Huh Oh Yeah, which I have actually got the single for, which I will just like hold up like for like this song here. So yeah, like it is like a great like opener to the album, like quite um, like sentimental like lyrics like to the song, like about Wella like returning like to Woking and um, like where like he like grew up, where like he like grew up and that like again like this whole album like has like a kind of theme like of like returning like to um like of like returning like to like his roots like and like the lyrics to this song like perfectly reflect that the chorus is like a little bit weaker like the uh huh oh yeah like bit like always there to like fool you like that bit's like is like a little bit like weaker which does mark the song down and um, like also like worth noting that like, the horns as well on this were sampled like from like an old song like by soul singer Marsha Hunt and um, so yeah like it is like a great song and um, and um, like also this was the second single from the album and um, it, it reached number 18 on the UK um, singles charts which I believe as well as um like first and um, like top 20 hit since and um, it didn't matter like by the style council and um, so yeah like, that's like worth like noting there and um, so yeah like this has a song called fly on the wall like on like the b-side which is a more sort of like acoustic like folky number and um, that would have been slightly like out of place like on like, the album like but it is a um, fantastic song there like fly on the wall that's certainly like worth checking out Please believe me when I say I've never meant to hurt you then we return to the actual album and that uh, the second song is called I Didn't Mean To Hurt You and this I'm giving the full 10 out of 10 to. I just love like the smoothness like off like this song here like it is like a great like follow up like second track here. Wella's vocal like it's just stunning. Like I love like the quite sort of like chilled moods like to this song and like the way like Wella's voice like it kind of just like propels out the song along. Like the slightly different like mood changes like in it but the engine's like a little bit more like intense like the tempo like of it and that so yeah i just think it is a um real real fantastic track here and um, i didn't mean to hurt you and the third track in is called bull rush which is a, another 10 out of 10 song for me and um, i just love the way the song like moves along like so well like it starts like quite quiet like with like this sort of like sound effects like going on like wherever like the beat kicks in and like it just like gets like your toe tapping like straight away and um, like lyrically like again like it is like quite reflective like quite like personal and um, like by this point like in time like kind of like the political leanings like off like the style council like had like completely like gone like he was now writing like songs like from like his own heart which i think like was like really great and um, the chorus to this is just fantastic like it's so like anthemic and um, anthemic like and like sing along like style it's actually quite a long song like it's longer like than like you think like when like you first hear it like because like the um like because like the band like they jam out like a bit like at like the end like of the song like i believe like to like the who's um track like magic boss like on like live versions like off like this song like he would like actually like go like and like perform like a full version like off like magic boss like however like it fades out like i just think it works like really really well like a, another um fantastic fantastic perfect song i think and um, bull rush a 10 out of 10. <laughs> fourth track in now is called round and round which is not a immediate highlight like off the album like however like it is pleasant like nonetheless um 
like quite a um, like chilled like groove like to this song here lyrically like it is like a little bit weaker like the chorus like which is like repeated like quite a few times like round and um, like round and round up and down like here we go again like it is like quite basic like lyrically like however i do like the moods like of this song um and like also the bridge as well like where like the tempo changes up a bit like it is like really like nicely arranged this track if slightly like long um like long like maybe like 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 maybe like one too many choruses for me um but still round and round like another um great track like a night um, um like an eight out of ten for me oh, I've been searching, searching. Then we come to the song and um, remember how we started, which is another brilliant track. Um, like um, lit lyrically, like it's about trying like to find like the spark, like off like a like relationship, like where like the start is. Like, like lyrically, it is quite um like reflective and like sentimental. Remember how we started on a summer's night, and um, too scared to know ab about what my um. Like those kind of like lyrics like to it, like I think like it like works like really well. Like the sax solo like on it, like I think like also um, like complements the song like nicely. Like it ends um like also like with like a like instrumental passage, which like Paul Weller like he would like throw in um throw in like these like instrumental pieces like on like his first couple like off like albums um. Like it does like bind the album together, like give it like a nice like cohesive feel, which I think like really works well. So yeah, and um, remember how we started, like a ten out of ten. Like can't really think of uh, of like anything that like, wrong like with this song. And then closing off side one is the song Above the Clouds, which I'm giving um, yet again another full 10 out of 10 to. But this time I think it is um, probably one of Wello's um, all time greatest songs here. Um, lyrically, I think it is um, like absolute perfection. Like, and like musically, like it's just stunning. Um, like the producer of this album, like is. Um, like as Paul Weller um like long with like Brenda Lynch like who like gives like this um song especially like a very clean like a very smooth and very smooth like production like again like it's very easy like on like the air like this track here this was the third single from the album however it criminally like reached only number 47 on like the UK singles charts like this is like certainly worthy um like worthy like of being like a top 10 single like at least um like, i think it is like just like fantastic um like like interestingly as well like i've got this album album like on a, a like on cd like it continues at like, the cd version like you hear like the vinyl record like sort of like being like flipped over and that like again like a nice touch bag on like the cd version like of the album so yeah like above the clouds um like the actual song itself um amazing amazing track And then um, opening up side two, we get a track called Clues, which is a um, quite a jazz like influence song. Like not only like in like the instrumentation like of it, but, but like also like the unconventional and um, like time signature. Like I'm not sure like what it is like, but like it's definitely not like the standard like rock like four four and um, like time signature. Like again, like it's got like slightly cryptic like lyrics to this song, like about like riding like on like an open and. Um, like about riding like on like an open deck bus and um, which is possibly like just a metaphor like for like feeling free like and like liberated and that and um, like flutes also feature like, feature prominently like on like this track and like maybe like towards the middle like they do get like a little bit um like a little bit like in the way like off like the song like towards the middle like off it like however like Weller does like a um like fantastic um solo acoustic performance like on like the album and and like tv special called days of speed which is really like worth watching like shows like it's like absolute like amazing like guitar talent and there so yeah like the actual album version like of clue so i think like is um brilliant song like just not um, just just not for me a favorite like track like on the album and 
And then we get um, the lead single, which was, um, like as I've shown earlier, um, Into Tomorrow, which is um, like his, sort of like his classic like comeback single. Like for many like Paul Weller fans, like this was like where like he got like his like mojo back, like after like the slightly sort of like wilderness like years, like off like the style cancel. Like it has like a strong like 60s, like sort of like small faces feel to it. Um, like, like again, like lyrically, like it is like just a, just a really sort of like positive like song and um, song like about like being like optimistic like for like the future. So yeah, like into tomorrow, fantastic track here. I think it reached number um, thirty six on the UK charts. So yeah, like brilliant, brilliant single here and um, into tomorrow. What it's like to walk amongst butterflies. Okay, and then the next one on the album is called Amongst Butterflies, which is another cracker, like about like sort of like remembering like the summer holidays, like when that like, Weller like was like a child and that uh, like it's got like a very sort of like carefree like feel to it, like in like Weller's like kind of like vocal like in it, like again, like it just sounds like so like happy, like so like positive, like as well. Like lyrically, like as I said, like about like quite like about like childhood nostalgia, this track here. And like also like the arrangement to this track, I think like it's just brilliant. Like after like he sings the line and um, like to walk amongst butterflies, like it kind of goes like into like this dream state and um, like quite like psychedelic like sort of sound. Like, I think it just works really really well. So yeah, like amongst butterflies would get another ten out of ten. And then, um, unfortunately, we reached like, the only um, misstep like on the album, like a song called um, "This Strange Museum," um, which for me personally, like, is a very slow, very lifeless piece, like about like an empty like museum, like he just like sings like there's nothing on show, like ain't it a shame and like that like sort of thing. Like it just like doesn't like resonate with me like at all. And like personally, like I think the album that like, would have been better served like had the B side "Here's a New Thing" like being like on it, like actually like the earlier like Japanese version like which was released like in April 1992 and um, dropped this song like it wasn't on like the original album like and like a like alternate version like of here's a new thing like took like the place like of this song which would have been like another easy 10 out of 10 track like for the album just unfortunately for some reason like when like he came around to releasing this like in like the UK like he thought that this was like a better song than here's a new thing which I think I was like completely that wrong decision like I think and um, so yeah like strange museum like not a brilliant track like kind of like like substandard the b-side material like personally for me thankfully the album like is redeemed like with the track bitterness rising which is a um very interesting track like it starts off like quite like acoustic like quite quiet like you can kind of like you can kind of sort of tell like where like Noel Gallagher like got like Wonderwall from like the introduction like it sounds like very similar like this track here like of course like predating like Wonderwall and um, however like as like the song goes on like it just becomes like another um, like Paul Weller classic like again like lyrically like it's about trying like to shake off like and like remove like any like negative like all like bitter like feelings and that so yeah a fantastic track here like I've been bit Rising, rising, um, like an easy 10 out of 10. And then we close the album um, with the song um, Cosmos, um, which is a sort of like a more like spacey slash like psychedelic like number. Like it starts off like with like this um, like rocket countdown like going on going on like in it like and also like musically like as well like it sounds like quite open like quite spacey like as like a track here and um, lyrically like it's about like trying like to sort of like find like sort of like self-worth like and like purpose like and like sort of and like sort of like uses like space travel like as like a metaphor like for like this here like the ending code or like the who am i what am i where am i to go a bit like brings out this point home like and like the track like i think like works really well like as like a closer so yeah overall final track um, and Cosmos would get a 9 out of 10 from me. Okay, so overall this album would score 92%. So yeah, I'll just um, basically just like sum up like why like I love this album so much. I'll start like with like his vocals. Like, I think that like, they are some of like his like career best. Like it could like quite easily be argued that like this was like his like peak like as like a vocalist. And um, like I certainly um, like can't like disagree there. Like I like also how like he kind of like started like fresh. Like he like abandoned 
like the political like side like off like his writing like and like began like writing more like personal like introspective songs like and like musically like as well like was a good blend like off like kind of like his like roots like music like what like he grew up on like the Beatles, Small Faces, Kinks, like the mob stuff like as well as like some of like the jazz and funk like off like the style council and um, like compared like, to like his other solo albums like this is like probably that like, most jazzy like the most soulful one however i think like the way like he blends and um, like the horns and that like with and um, like the 60s style like i think like works like really well like to great effects like on this album the only thing like wrong with it like i would say like is the fact that here's a new thing like unfortunately like isn't on like the like official like uk version like off like the album like if like i was talking like about like the original japanese version and um, like as i said that that would have been like another like easy like 10 out of 10 track so yeah, definitely for me, um, one of like his best um, solo albums here, like along with Stanley Road, and like possibly like a kind of revolution, like as well. Like I think that like, measures up, um, like alongside that like, this album here. Um, I think it um, just sounds so vibrant, like and like full of life, like the songs like on like this record here. And um, so yeah, and um, brilliant, brilliant album, and um, like Paul Weller's debut record from 1992 here. Certainly like worth like checking out, like if like you haven't. Um, heard this record like not familiar with it like all like maybe just like overlooked it like in like Weller's like catalog yes yeah, so hope you have enjoyed this album review and I will see you all next time for the next video goodbye